Back to the election and the massive turnout we continue to see in Florida and everywhere else there's early voting. It comes as the FBI and Homeland Security now say Russian hackers have targeted dozens of state and local governments potentially trying to interfere. CBS Force Ty Russell has new details. The latest available numbers show more than 228,000 people in Miami-Dade and Broward have cast ballots in person. More than 600,000 have chosen the vote by mail option. Every so often we get an election in which the outcome shapes the nature of government for the next generation. The election expert Charles Zeldin explains why there is a high turnout already. He says this election reminds him of Ronald Reagan versus Jimmy Carter. Uh, the two candidates are clearly different. They stand for different approaches. The last time we had an election like this was 1980. Fast forward to 2020, election leaders and law enforcement are also working to keep confidence in the voting process. Thursday, the Miami-Dade Police Homeland Security Bureau confirmed an investigation into this letter reported by a Kendall homeowner. It's directed toward a Trump supporter and says if the president doesn't concede, make sure they have fire damage coverage on their home. Also to prepare for civil war. No word if this is credible and who's responsible. Also Thursday, Broward Sheriff's deputies arrested a man for disorderly conduct at an early voting site. They say he vandalized signs and yelled racial slurs at the African American Research Library and Cultural Center, which is near Fort Lauderdale. Deputies are recommending the man appear in mental health court. Florida election leaders are also working to ease concerns after some Democrats received threatening email messages. The FBI says voter registration data has also been obtained by Iran and Russia. In a statement sent to us Thursday, the Florida Department of State said in part, there has been no breach to Florida's voter registration database. It went on to say while public voting files contain voting history, it does not include any voter information that discloses how a voter voted in any contest. And since millions have already voted, even before Thursday's final debate, we asked whether the major events informing voters may change down the road. But if you make it too early, a lot of us simply aren't paying attention. Uh, so it's a balancing act. Miami-Dade Elections has also partnered with Miami-Dade Police to respond to any problems at polling places and patrol near them. We are in Doral. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.